Hello, my name is Mackenzie W. James, Senior Plumbing Inspector for the City of Portland. Today we're going to talk about the one and two family plumbing crossing class that took place here at the city that was taught by myself and with the help of the other A-level plumbing inspectors in the residential combination section. There was a total, there were a total of 12 employees, well actually 11, five employees came from neighborhood inspections, four from combination residential inspections, two from commercial building mechanical inspections, and the 12th one was from our Oregon City Building Department. The, the participant had to do a year, had to be an inspector for at least a year, an active enforcing inspector in some other certification or field, whether it's plumbing or, I mean, I'm sorry, whether it's uh, electrical or mechanical or, or building. And it was, it is the one year or uh, a, a minimum of 2,040 hours. The class is 28 weeks long. It has a, uh, it's one day a week, three hour class. There's a total of 150 field training inspe uh, inspections with A level plumbing inspectors. The one and two family plumbing class have taken place before at least I know of maybe two or three times since I've been employed by the city of Portland. But this is the first time that we have had so many uh, employees taking the class, and it's the first time that all the employees have successfully passed the state exam on the very first try. It was a very, it was great training, great great savings because uh, the city has some very highly qualified skill in, 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 uh, intelligent employees and we you know the, we tap into the source that we have all the A-level plumbing inspectors A-level inspectors such as John Sis, Walt Craig, Marcus Maniar, Jim Jones, Dennis Floyd and Kim Upperberry uh, they were all eager and willing to step up to the plate and help, and it's with their help and uh, participation and cooperation that helped make this uh, very successful and uh, cost savings to the city. I, th I think that's that's a, that's a great benefit. So uh, we get credit for those classes. To the extent we get credit, we're not having to spend bureau money to go outside to OBOA. Uh, the training is really relevant to what we do here because we're we're I guess inspecting to the Portland standard, um, and 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 we have you know uh, good good contact with with the people who actually do inspections in Portland rather than another jurisdiction that may do it another way so um, I think I think there's good good value there the other thing is that 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 uh, training is a, a, a good potential career advancement. That is, if an inspector decided they wanted to go become a combination inspector uh, or move up to, you know, a building inspector, um, that pathway I think would be a little bit easier for them having taken these trainings and gotten those certs. Without a doubt, it's customer service. So we know here at the Bureau that any time you get more than one inspector or one employee of the Bureau involved, the potential for miscommunication exists. If you get three involved, like the permit center and the inspector, the potential really exists. We all do our best, but we know that can happen. To the extent that we're talking to each other, that we're working together, that's less likely to happen. We got less customer frustration, and customers feel well served because the inspector that comes out to inspect their permit has talked to me, and they know there's been communication, and they feel better taken care of. I think it's, it's real valuable. It was very success successful. Neighborhood uh, inspection, they were eager to participate. They were, uh, their attendance was well in the class. They were always respectful and <laughs> always showed up 
for the class on time. They uh, they eagerly participated in the training. It was a it was a very good opportunity for neighborhood inspections, and they took advantage of it. And I'm happy that they were all successful. I believe that that the possibilities for advancements are there. Um, and depending on what the goals and desires of the individual inspector might be, uh, I know that personally speaking, uh, I would not uh, hesitate if that were to be a, a top priority for me as far as advancement, uh, that I could talk to, say, uh, Mr. McKenzie James uh, and discuss with him the possibilities or, or other combination inspect and inspectors and talk to him about the ability of what it is to, to be a combination inspector and if that would suit my my future goals for for what I have uh, so. well it's uh, no we have more qualified people to do the inspections now with uh, we don't always have to be on going on the outside to get inspectors to to do the work that we have we can utilize again the resources that those are neighborhood inspections uh, inspectors to to help with any over we have too much of a workload they can help and uh, that's that's what this enable them to do they, they want to be part of an inspection team and they like I said they're just eager to to be part of that inspection team. So to me it's about teamwork and working cohesively and I think it can only be an added benefit for the viewer to have uh, neighborhood inspections participating in uh, residential combination inspections. I believe that customer service is paramount here and we strive for for the very very best and I believe with the training that we have received uh, this can only be of, of tremendous help for the customer uh, realizing that that the combinations inspection team our department with neighborhood inspections is is working together and resolving their issues uh, that that we're together working on the same page and I think that they customers are uh, feel a little bit more at ease when they come into the Bureau of Development Services realizing that that they do have a networking uh, a team together to resolve their issues and hopefully uh, leave the building with a good positive experience. Yes, they're not only more confident but more knowledgeable because now it's not foreign to them. They can go out and look at a plumbing installation and know what, which, whether the right fittings was used in the vertical to horizontal direction or uh, if the right size diameter pipe was used. So it's a very, very valuable tool for them. They can be, do their job more competently and more confident. Well, I recently completed the one and two family dwelling uh, plumbing code training classes. And uh, that helps me identify um, plumbing problems and structures, but also helps me communicate to the uh, property owners or, or uh, contractors fixes for those kind of problems. The value, the value is just incredible for me. Uh, it makes me, f it makes me better proficient in my inspections when I go out into the field. I think that the training that was provided by the A-level inspectors that we uh, went out and did uh, some training with was incredible. I just felt like when I did my own housing inspections, I felt a lot more comfortable uh, in realizing that that I could look at plumbing issues a little bit better, a little bit more uh, insightful, uh, and knowing that the, uh, again, with the combinations uh, inspections team, knowing that they are close by that I could, uh, again, reference their knowledge and ask them questions was really, it is really important for me. Thank you. I'd like to give a special thanks to all the A-level who participate in uh, the training and with helping with the teaching because they are again like I repeat myself uh, teamwork and cohesiveness always makes you grow pushes you forward so thanks